to take you through your attic as I promised I want to show you a few highlights today so let's get to it uh, the first thing I want to point out to you is how we would treat the hatch in the prayer room and you can see what Ivan is doing here he is uh, cutting rigid foam board and getting a few pieces stacked on top of each other and then he glues it to the panel that exists and then we put a little weather stripping on the outside so that when it sits in the hole there it makes a nice tight seal so let's get up in your attic and the first uh, thing I want to talk to you a little bit about it that's missing in your attic is air sealing and you can see here right off the bat I found a light fixture in the prayer room that's just open to the room below so I want to show you how we air seal an attic and you can see again Ivan here and he's just using the uh, spray foam, the one part spray foam, and he's just sealing all of the cracks and crevices in a strategic way. Now, this attic is obviously uninsulated, so it's easy to see, but it's the same thing in your attic with the insulation. We just need to get underneath of it and hit all those spots. So the next thing I wanted to kind of go through with you here are the duct connections and there is a rebate, as I mentioned, to seal the ducts. And this is kind of what that looks like. There's a few different products we use. You've probably heard of Mastic Duck Steel. We use that. We also use spray foam, depending on the situation. The key here is we just want to make sure that all these connections, as you saw there, this is an example, um, that they all get sealed properly and just make the system work a little bit better for you. Particularly in the attic where you know all of the ducts are outside of the envelope. Now here, I wanted to just point out the flue chase, the HVAC chase, that's the plumbing, the flue that goes all the way through to uh, the house down into the basement. And I took a picture here and you can kind of see the big gap there. And the reason why this is important is because of physics and the stack effect. And I just wanted to show you this diagram about how warm air in the winter rises and then it gets replaced by cold air from the outside. So again, this is what air sealing looks like. I just wanted to show you a sealed plumbing stack. So now I wanted to get over uh, top of the, um, I, ooh, I think that's just the, the bedroom there at the very back. Uh, but anyway, this is over top of the closet for the prayer room. And it's more of the same um, in terms of, you know, the insulation. But I do think that that prayer room closet, I guess, was added later, which you already know. Um so we'll get into that in a second here. I just wanted to take a few moments back in this area and just point out a few more things. Um, you know, you can get a good bird's eye view there of that closet. And you've probably seen all this from even down in the garage, but it just looks a little messy. And the key here is that, you know, whenever we have insulation in, in any place in the house, for the most part, we also want to make sure that we seal it. So we want to take all that insulation down, we want to get behind, we want to seal that wall, and then we want to put the insulation back. And then finally, we want to wrap it tight with some type of sheathing so that that insulation stays in place and it's nice and tight in that area. Here, I just wanted to talk to you about the overall level of insulation throughout the attic. And you could just see there that it's lacking. And I just wanted you to get a, a look at what a finished attic looks like when um, there's a lot of insulation in there, R49, and you can't see the attic floor, you can't see any of the ducts, um, everything is buried. So just another quick look here from a slightly different angle. And I also wanted to just pay a little bit of attention to that wall that's adjacent to that bedroom and that closet that also touches the garage and that one has you know the original house sheathing on it so it's not quite um, as easy to get to as the wall in the prayer room but it definitely would be something we looked at and made sure that if we could seal it up in any way we would so this is the one um, I would mentioned to you that the one wall of that closet is uninsulated and you can just see there uh, I took a picture of that and I also will include that in the report but that's just an area that's susceptible, you know, to more heat and cold, and it's just going to cause problems. So back into the main attic, heading towards your master bedroom, we'll finish up here. I just wanted to let you know there's a few things going on in that corner. You got another plumbing penetration. The baffle fell down. Uh, just that area, just in general, needs some love. And then I just wanted to kind of get you on top of your master bedroom. I think I mentioned to you when I was out there. 
there was some insulation that was just kind of bunched up and missing up there. So you're going to see I sort of get up here for you and um, went all the way over. And you're going to just see where the insulation just, um, you know, first off, you need more. Uh, we want to be R30. And right now it's about maybe five, six inches at an R value of two. So you're about R12. So you're about halfway there. But you can just see there uh, the insulation is just, like I said, it's kind of slipping down and bunched up. And then I don't know what happened along the way. Maybe somebody added a recess light or they just got lazy, but they just put the insulation over top of that recess light. And that's just, that's not going to work. So lastly here, just to get a good bird's eye view, um, you know, there's some work that could be done on the ducts to make things more efficient, and definitely you need uh, some insulation. And before all that, of course, we want to get down below the insulation and just seal all of those penetrations. And then the house is going to be, you know, way more comfortable and efficient. And, um, you know, things are just going to work a whole lot better for you. So thanks for watching.